Hello everyone, welcome in my channel Windows Form. Today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of library management system. In this project uh, or you can say in this video, I'm going to show you uh, create a new category table and uh, how to implement category in a library management project. Also add in uh, some operation performed on the category. So first of all, uh, design a table for the category in the database table. Just right click on the uh, table name and uh, add a new table that is category and uh, in which you can add ID and the title property of the category. So uh, after that you can uh, add uh, that category table in the EDMX file. So just open it EDMX file or you can say model one and right click on the uh, empty space and just update your model, update your uh, EDMX file with the category table. Now. Uh, this is the uh, logic thing to add a new uh, table in the ADMX file. So here we have three uh, entities that is the first is the LMS and admin. The second one is uh, related to the book and third one is the related to the category. Now uh, you can see three entities in the ADMX file. Now open your manage category uh, form and just click on the add uh, category button and just handling button click event uh, to add a new category in that table. So uh, use LMS entities you can say context class and uh, also uh, initialize a, a new category uh, uh, class and in the title you can add title and just update your context uh, with the add uh, method and also uh, op perform operations to the save changes so this is the logic thing uh, behind uh, your uh, entity framework uh, and uh, windows form to add a new record in the database table so uh, the category uh, to add a new category in the uh, category table now just after that you can also add uh, when uh, manage book uh, load then automatically add add categories in the combo box or you can say drop down list so uh, just after the initialize component uh, must to uh, load your uh, category combo so category combo dot data source equals to context dot categories dot to list and the first parameter and uh, which uh, dis, uh, which parameter to display in the combo box so uh, when you click uh, to run your file you have you got an error message or you can say that something uh, like some change uh, parameters in your categories so first of all add a new category asp.net and uh, also uh, manage book and uh, you you can see that LMS dot categories there is the class name so uh, just use display member property of the combo box to uh, to display the property of uh, your category class that is the title I want to show only title in the combo box so here is okay now after that uh, you can use category in the remove table also so just use it okay that's fine now after that uh, you can uh, you can manage uh, or you can say the mm, uh, written issue and the search uh, issue form so just click on the button control and uh, first of all change the name property of the in the search button LMS entities context equals to new LMS entities and also bind your combo box with the category so category combo dot data source equals to context dot categories dot to list cat combo dot display member equals to title so uh, in the search issue form where your category loaded with your uh, category class now after that uh, rename your data grid that is result grid 
and uh, when we click on the button control the search result will display in the grid so first of all make some uh, columns in the grid uh, that is the uh, actually uh, header text and the name property of the text box control uh, which is uh, showing in the uh, data grid also change some parameters so uh, here we have uh, four column ISP and title category and the quantity uh, also change uh, the data pr uh, property name of the each columns and that data property name is matched with your name which is uh, uh, which is shown in the your database table that is ISPN to ISPN and when we click on the button control then search the result will display in the uh, result grid so context.books.where x.title um, match with your title that is title text and oops title text is already there so book title you can say the B title text and the cat combo you can say so B title text or text or the symbol of double pipe sign cat combo uh, oops uh, the category X dot category is double equals to cat combo dot text you can say select a text but uh, here we have only one item in this uh, in the category or you can say in the cat combo so just you can use uh, text uh, instead of selected text okay dot to string also auto generated column f make false of the data grid so result grid dot data source equals to books also make auto generated column of the result grid is false now run it yeah it's not showing uh, because asp dot yeah because the selected text is not matched with your big only the one item in their combo box so just use selected text uh, just use text instead of selected text so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to library management system i will provide you a better video tutorial of uh, many products projects thank you very much